Long time no see. Here we are on fifth hole at Cardona Golf Club, and today what we're going to discuss, what we're going to discuss is how to play a par three, or one of the hardest par threes that I've played here. So you've got 186 yards. It's the um, 186 yards. There's a water hazard about 60 yards short of the green. There's a bunker guard on the right hand side of of the green. Okay, so right's a no go, left. Left's a no go as well because there's also another hazard to the left of the green, okay? So, it's been a while since I've actually done a video, so if I'm just going to move the camera back a little bit so I'm actually in the in the picture as opposed to not being in the picture, okay? So, 186 yards. What is the first sort of protocol you would go through? I always go through a process of on a par 3 is an assessing. I've got a traffic light, um, almost a traffic light system, okay? So, if the pin is in the middle of the green, I'd go for it. If the pin's tucked away, I would. that's a red light, so I would never ever go for it. If it's maybe, let's say, front edge of the green, I would go amber, okay? Most par threes I always play, I always go for the amber warning, or the red warning, okay? I just go for the, the middle part of the green, okay? So, as you can see, the pin's on the right-hand side of the green here, and you want to aim to the bigger part of the green, being on the left side of the green, okay? So, how do we do that? Well. I am going to, I'm going to know where the flag is, okay? I'm going to picture the flag on the left hand side of the green, okay? So, why would I do that? Because if you picture the flag, you get a bit anxious, the chances are you're going to miss it to the right, okay? So, I'm going to try and use the process or the set of steps that I want to miss it to the left hand side, okay? The why do I want to miss it to the left hand side? Always play to the wider part of the green. Never try and hit a draw into a right hand pin position. Always try and hit a fade towards target, okay? So, I'm going to try and play let's say a 10 yard fade left to right so we can actually hit the flag okay so how how do we hit the ball when downwind okay so when you this is downwind it's 186 i'm hit seven iron when we hit the ball downwind the ball is actually going to go further okay so you would take we take less club okay so normally i would hit five iron it's straight downwind i'm going to hit seven iron okay the seven iron is going to go further because the ball is going to go higher the trajectory is going to or the wind is going to make the trajectory of the ball go higher and it's going to carry further okay so Let's go through this again, okay? So from there, always try and hit, don't try and hit the ball harder, just try and hit it smoothly, okay? If you hit your normal 170 distance, the 7 iron's going to get there, okay? So it's nice and smooth, okay? Let's have a shot of this. That is a bit right. It's on the flag, bro. Yep, not a bad shot. Take two. Let's have a shot of this again. First one's on the green, second one's in the bunker. Let's go. Fifth green at Cardona. And we've we hit the first shot just slightly to the right of the pin. That was a good distance, good club. Uh, maybe a bit big, the first one sort of just short and in the bunker, wasn't a very good strike about the toe. Anyway, if you find my tips helpful, make sure you subscribe to the channel under Jamie Allen Golf. Probably don't recognise me with a hat on today, don't really like wearing hats, but I've been a bit sunburnt recently, so I've been, ad been advised by my mum, mum if you're watching this, to wear sun cream. And I've taken that alternative to boycott that and actually put a hat on. So, mum, if you're watching this, I'm not wearing sun cream. Don't ground me. So, uh, so guys, we've arrived at the green, seven iron, we bit right at the pin, went a bit big, very hard to control the distance down one. I'm just going to grab my putter. Put in for a birdie. Can't guarantee that I'm going to hold this, but I'll try my best, you know. If you can hold this, pitch marks over here, I better do some gardening. in. I was playing normal golf, I would give myself that, but that's a wee bit of a tester, okay? Rammed it through the break a wee bit. Let's try and finish this off for par. So, so as easy as a three you'll ever make, okay? So just when you're in trouble or 
for example, when you're on a par three, just try and find the wide part of the green. Normally, there's danger lingering all over the place. So, if you find my tips helpful, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And if you've got any topics you want me to discuss in the future, comment below or get back to you. Any new ideas you want me to obviously cover or any new content you want me to instruct, fire a comment. Make sure you subscribe, share the video. The more shares I get and the more likes, the more this can be important on YouTube and the bigger the audience. So make sure you subscribe. Thank you.